afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, today we're looking at a 2004 Allegro Phaeton. This is a model number 35RH. This is a 36 foot Class A diesel motorhome. Folks, I love these Phaetons. This is the first one we've had in a while. This is one of the top of the line units that Allegro makes. And I'm gonna tell you, Allegro is one of the few true Southern RV manufacturers. These are built in Red Bay, Alabama. Uh, Bob Tiffin started it over 40 years ago, one of the pioneers in the RV industry. And he's still, him and his sons, you can go over and take the factory tour and you'll see him and his sons working on the, on the factory floor with the workers. They have a very hands-on approach to their business. They limit themselves to only six motor homes a day so they can control the quality. And it really shows. That's why you see these Allegros from 35, 36 year old Allegros still running around, still being used all the time. This is the Phaeton, which is one of their top of the line units. The Zephyr, of course, is their top of the line. This is right underneath the Zephyr. A beautiful RV. It's 36 foot long. It's got one power slide out. 330 horsepower Caterpillar diesel. A six speed Allison Freightliner chassis. You've got the 22 and a half inch uh, tires and, and these are actually the wheels. Now I got to throw a couple of wheel centers on it. You know they popped off coming down here and that's a real common thing with these Alcoa wheels. It's got the upgrade power awning with remote control. 10 gallon DSI water heater that runs off LP or electric. Got 330 cats, got tons of power for taking you down the road. Beautiful exterior folks. Notice there's no delamination. This is an Allegro. I mean these the reputation for Allegro speaks for itself. Of course, there's your Caterpillar badging. It's got the 7500 Onan diesel generator that runs great. It's got the slide topper on the slide out. Uh, it's got the dual therm tinted windows. Air assisted suspension, air brakes, a lot of nice features. It's got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. I mean, in 2004, you're looking at about $170,000. You know, well over $200,000 today. So you can imagine the quality that goes into this Allegro unit. It's even got air horns on the roof. Full heated basement, double ducted airs. I'm gonna tell you folks, the glass is perfect. It's a nice RV right here, especially for under $50,000. I mean, the book on this thing is unreal. Let's take a look inside this 35RH. Folks, as we step inside here, I'm gonna tell you, as soon as you walk in, the quality pretty much gets you right off the bat. Flex steel leather captain's chairs. Real ceramic tile floor. Now, both these chairs should be power. They are. And, of course, the passenger side does is like a recliner. It's got a footrest. So you can also swivel it around to have an extra seat at your fold-up table. And you've got another recliner right here. Up here in the front, like I said, folks, it's uh, all air brakes, air suspension. It's got the exhaust brake. The backup camera works good, as you can see. Uh, power mirrors with heat. There is one issue with this RV, and let me tell you right now, um, it's had a new odometer put in it. However, just like any new style diesel, you, you uh, flash the ECM and it will tell you the mileage before the odometer was changed. The mileage is 37,000 and change. It's had about 1,600 miles put on it since then. So this unit's got roughly 39,000 miles on it. This is a diesel, so mileage is absolutely nothing. But you've got right around 39,000 miles on this RV. The dash air is ice cold. And you know, that's something you hardly see that works in a 2004 model is a dash air. But all the air conditioners are cold. If you look through my pictures, I've got a... My, I, you can see my little, my little thermometer. We're dropping down close under 30, under right at freezing. 
and it's uh, 95 degrees outside today and that dash air is blowing good and cold but I'm gonna tell you folks the quality of this RV is just second to none both roof airs are ice cold you've got the Corian countertops fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV real solid hardwood cabinets folks these aren't the cheap particle board that's solid wood you've got a table booth that makes a bed and a sleeper sofa so this is a six sleeper got all the nice accent lighting all the nice woodwork and trim work around the slide out the crown molding on the ceiling you can tell this is a this is not a a cheap forest river or a, or, or a base model coachman or something like that you can tell this is a nicer unit real ceramic tile floor i like that you just got carpet in the living room and the bedroom domestic two-way rv refrigerator freezer with built-in ice maker now i haven't had this on very long so i'm not really thinking it's uh, had a chance to get cold yet but we're going to show you that's ice cold and the ice maker works like i said you got the corian countertops not the cheap knockoffs but the real corian tops this should be a pantry you got some slide out shelves come through here you got a walk through bathroom uh, they didn't cheap out and put the cheap countertops back here. They actually went ahead and put matching Corian countertops and Corian sink to match the kitchen. Glassed in shower. It's got a skylight. There's no signs of leaks or leak damage anywhere in this RV, folks. You've got the upgrade Sealand RV toilet, medicine cabinet. You've got your own vent fan in here, more fluorescent lighting. Now, folks, this one just come in, yes. So we haven't cleaned it or anything, so... Rest assured, my crew will go through this RV and clean it from top to bottom and check every single thing on it to make sure it works properly before you pick this RV up or we deliver it to you. Uh, rear bedroom, Queen Island bed. There's storage underneath the bed. Still got the original factory bedding. Uh, look at all the nice mirrors, all the nice light fixtures. It's got a padded headliner, folks. That really helps reduce your road noise and helps insulate your coach. Again, all the crown molding just really adds a nice touch. That's things they didn't have to do, but they do because Allegro is known for their quality. Again, even got matching nightstands. TV, you've got a hanging closet. Of course, you open this up right here, and this is all your information. Uh, all the motorhome, 2004, 35 BH Freightliner. 100 gallon fuel capacity, 91 gallon water capacity. Uh, all, it's got the 7500 generator, it's got the inverter. All your information's right here, easy to get to. And it's got a uh, 45 black and 70 gray. So you've got the tank capacity to go for a long time dry camping. Everything's nice and clean, folks. We're going to show you everything works. And remember, folks, like I said, the odometer is showing 37,000 when you flash the, uh, the ECM. And it's got right at 1,600 miles added to it since then. So you figure about 38, 39,000 miles to be safe. This unit is only 49.9. Now, if you want to pull the NADA, and I really strongly encourage all of you to, don't add any options, even though you're supposed to. But I just look up the base NADA like I did right here. Phaeton NADA, 330 horse Caterpillar, 35 RH, just like what was in the sticker in the closet. Uh, list price new, $166,000. Low retail, $52,750. Wait a minute, we're not, under, we're not at low retail. We're at $49,900. Average retail, $63,500. Now, folks, the real NADA shows the options. This one right here. NADA as equipped, 68.5, low retail. And if you read the fine print, low retail vehicles are usually not found on dealer lots. They have extensive wear and tear. I'm just going to read it right off the bottom here. A low retail unit has extensive wear and tear. Body parts may have dents and blemishes. The buyer can expect to invest in cosmetic and or mechanical work the vehicle should be in safe running order low retail vehicles 
usually are not found on dealer lots. Uh, in the RV business, folks, our, uh, low retail is considered a for sale by owner price. Average retail is considered a dealer price. 56.9. I'm $7,000 under for sale by owner price. In excellent condition, plus you're going to get the benefits of buying a dealer. Uh, we're going to go completely through this thing top to bottom, make sure everything works right. You're not going to get that from an individual. Um, we're going to show you everything works, titles in house. Um, we're going to have services we can sell you. We're going to have you 15-year uh, financing available if you want it. You're not going to get that from a sale by owner. Uh, we have nationwide service contracts available at cost. Uh, other words, if you ever need to do any work to this RV in your warranty period, you can get it worked on anywhere else in the United States. Any dealer in the United States can work on it. You're not going to get that from a sale by owner. You're going to get all of that and still save thousands underneath the for sale by owner NADA or the, or the dealer NADA, either one. You're such a buy, folks. This is reason why Parkway RV Center has been the best place to buy a used RV for almost half a century. Uh, folks, when you can buy an a RV like this with under 40,000 miles, for that much under NADA, I mean, NADA base retail value, no options, is fourteen five more than our asking price. You, you figure in the equipment that's not included with this RV, we're almost, uh, we're $19,000 under book, folks, with less than 40,000 miles on one of the most popular motorhomes that Allegro makes, the, the Phaeton. Folks, we've been doing this for 47 years. My grandfather started this place. He taught my dad, who taught me. Very simple how you stay in business. There's RV dealers on the corner of every street in America. There's You'll, you'll pass by hundreds, sometimes thousands of used RVs for sales coming to us. The secret to really stay in business, to do the kind of business we do, is to price your RVs less than anybody else. He taught us that, folks, 48 years ago. And we took that to heart, and we price our RVs cheaper than any other price and any other dealership on the internet. We check it every day. We check the book values. Uh, you know, he had a saying, and we kind of made it our unofficial business motto. You make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. Sure, we don't make as much as the big RV dealers do, but we sell more. When you sell 15 to 20 RVs a week out of a used RV dealership, you're doing something right, and that's exactly what we do every week. Uh, you know, why go out and spend sixty-six, sixty-seven thousand dollars $67,000 on this same motorhome at another dealer that you can buy here for under $50,000? It just doesn't make sense, folks, to waste that kind of money. This is a deal, if you want to buy, that you can fly in from California. You can fly in from Washington State, New York, Florida, uh, Vermont, the Dakotas, anywhere you want to fly in from, drive this RV home and you're still saving $10,000. And now I'm going to tell you folks, when you can save $10,000 even after you have transportation costs, there's no way you can go wrong. You're basically buying this RV for what you can sell it for two years from now if you take care of it. That's how we sell RVs every day. Get online, look up 2004 Allegro Phaeton 35BH or excuse me, RH, and see what dealers and for sale by owners are asking for this exact same type, make, and model, folks. It's ridiculous how much money we can save you. They're bringing up to $75,000 on the internet, that which you can buy here for $49.9. And uh, folks, if you're in the market for a used RV and you don't call us before you buy, Basically, you, you did the pretty much the equivalent of taking about ten to $15,000 cash of your own money, putting it in a paper sack, putting it out in your driveway, and setting it on fire and watching it burn. Because if you did not call us before you bought an RV, you just did that, folks. We can save you that kind of money. I don't have commission salespeople, so you don't have to worry about these high-pressure sales tactics and sales managers and closers and turnover tactics folks all my all my salespeople are paid salary only when you have the lowest prices on the internet on used rvs why do you pay people to sell your rvs you don't have to that's the benefit of buying from us having the lowest prices uh, most of these rvs are going to sell 
sight unseen. And like I said, folks, my salespeople are salary only, no commission involved, no incentive to sell, so there's absolutely no pressure. And that's why we don't pay our salespeople commission, folks, because we know we've got the lowest prices on the internet. So I'm not going to pay some hotshot salesperson 25% uh, commission to sell something that you've already researched and you find out that you're saving thousands. No extra fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no dealer fees whatsoever. I can't tell you how huge that is, folks. Uh, when you go to these other RV dealerships, you're going to pay about sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars for this exact same RV. They're, you're going to have to deal with a high-pressure RV salesperson that's going to try to steal your trade in. Uh, that's going to mark the interest rate up on financing to make more money. I mean, it's just crazy the things they do. And then. Not only are you paying ten to fifteen thousand dollars more for the same RV you could have bought here, but they're going to charge you anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars in dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, processing fees, whatever you whatever they want to call it. What we call it is ripoff fees. The only thing by law you're required to pay when you buy a new or used RV is the sales price that you agree on and any sales tax do. In other words, if you buy in the same state you live in, you'll have to pay sales tax. Other than that, folks, a dealer is not supposed to charge you anything else but that. But they do, folks. All these fees they charge you are 100% dealer profit, completely and utterly unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. So not only are we saving you thousands of dollars, we're saving you thousands of dollars in, in fees as well. Financing available up to 180 months, and when you're buying something for 14 or 19 thousand dollars under book value, folks, you've got 19 thousand dollars of equity that you can loan on this RV. In other words, if you've got an RV you bought somewhere else and you're buried in, you've got 19 thousand dollars to help dig your way out and still be under retail book on this RV. Deals like this, folks, like I said, is why Parkway RV Center has been in business for 48 years. So give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com, and our email is sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Like I said, folks... If you buy an RV somewhere else before calling us, you just wasted thousands of dollars. Thank you for watching my video and hope to see you soon.